Yo guys, what's up? Sleepio here. Today I have an updated SMG PvP build for you. And before the patch came out, when I read the patch notes and um, saw what they did in the PTS, uh, I thought SMGs are basically dead and um, not worth it at all. But that's actually not the case. Uh, they are definitely nerfed, but they are still pretty strong. Um, I don't know if they are stronger than LMGs, like since, since you can't really hipfire anymore with SMGs. They are a little bit nerfed and uh, LMG players most of the time just run close to you and hipfire. And you can't counter hipfire because you lose all your crit chance. So yeah, you, you, you're forced to ADS with SMGs now. Also, the defender drone is nerfed, I would say. So yeah, the, that cheese combination is not as good anymore. But um, SMGs are pretty much a self-healing build now. More than before, even more than before. I will go in detail with all the pieces I'm running and why I'm running them and um, what other possible combinations you could run as well. But first, as always, let's start with the specialization. So for that build, I choose to play Demolitionist because first you get 15% SMG damage and then you also have the talent uh, Crisis Response. When armor is reduced to zero, refills all main weapons. So that has a cooldown of, I've, I don't know, I think 30 seconds. Not quite sure now because I haven't played it in a while, but it has an internal cooldown. Um, it's still pretty good though. If you play the talent correctly, you basically have a 80 to 90 round magazine. But uh, to the actual build now. So to my stats first, I have 8, 4, 5. The 5 um, doesn't really matter, the 5 utility, because I don't have on the ropes or spotter or any of that. But uh, the other attributes matter. You want 7 or more offensive for Berserk and 4 or less defensive for Clutch. Um, I will get into all the talents I'm running uh, in a second when I show the gear pieces. But uh, 7 offensive and 4 defensive is what you are looking for. As always, let's start with the guns. So as main gun, I'm running a Vector. Um, in my last SMG build, I ran the T821. But right now with the PvP modifier, it's still good, I guess. But uh, now you want more self-healing more than ever before, for sure. And the higher RPM of the Vector makes that possible. So you definitely want to run the Vector and not a slow-firing SMG like the T8. Because you really need that self healing, otherwise that build is just not good. For the talents, um, I'm running Strained. As you can see, Strained doesn't have a requirement. And I don't know if that is intended or not. In the patch notes, or at least in the PTS patch notes, it said that Strained is still 5 or less offensive. But as you can see, there's no requirement at all. That means you can just use Strained and Berserk in a combo still. And that makes it build a lot better than I thought. The variant of the vector I'm running is a tactical vector because it has more base damage. My main talent is Strained, and that's for obvious reasons. Uh, with SMG, that's the only viable talent, really. And since it still works with Berserk, you shouldn't go anything else than Strained. My um, passive talent is Extra, 20% more mech capacity. Um, you could also go Allegro here, but uh, yeah, uh, that's the best vector I got so far. Pretty high base damage as well. And yeah, Extra is definitely not bad on the tactical vector because it only has a base mech of 19, I think. So that's definitely helpful. To the mods... So, um, as Optic, I'm running a Russian Red Dot side, gives me 5 crit damage. I know there is a crit chance scope as well, which you could use, but I'm crit capped anyway, so for me it doesn't matter. But yeah, um, either crit chance or crit damage, um, and if you don't have any of those, then I don't know, probably optimal range. My magazine is a 9mm mag, I think that's just from a um, control point or a side mission even. Plus 20 rounds and minus 10 reload speed, definitely the best mag for that. And my underbarrel and muzzle are both 5% crit chance each. On the underbarrel though, you should go with the demolitionist underbarrel that gives you 7% crit chance. That one right here. But since I'm crit capped anyways and I don't play demolitionist all the time, that's the only build I play demolitionist with. Uh, I just choose to go for the 5% because if I save the build with the 7% crit chance underbarrel and uh, then have the sharpshooter on when I swap to it, it will just get unequipped and I don't have any mod here. That's why I have the 5%, because for me it's enough. But if you only play that build or something, then just go for the 7, obviously. As a secondary, I'm running the Shadow Box, and I just like the extra RPM you're getting if you kill somebody and then reload after. Because with the Vector, you most likely kill one guy, and um, yeah, then you just reload and have 20% more RPM on a gun that already has 1200 RPM for the next fight. And it's pretty insane, right? To my gear now. So, um, as you can see, I don't have a talent on the holster, which is pretty unusual for me. I always want a talent here, basically. But for me, right now, it makes the most sense to do it that way. Because there's one piece that I really want and I don't have. To the really important pieces first. 
So you definitely want to Fenris Chest because you get two talents there, which would be Berserk and Vital to get extra health. And uh, yeah, that's what you want to do with that build. You just want to stack health for clutch. And then also the gloves, they definitely need to have clutch. Otherwise, that build is completely useless. Then the build just doesn't work. Without clutch, you can't play that build. As pieces, as I said, definitely Fenris. And I would also definitely go Murakami. Because Murakami gives you 8% health just as one piece bonus. So you just need one piece Murakami and you get 8% extra health. Let's start with the mask as always. Uh, I have a Wyvern mask, but not because I get 7% uh, critted damage, just because of the attributes. So you want an offensive attribute here and a utility attribute, because you can't go over the four defensive attributes. And that's actually pretty hard, because, yeah, you have six pieces and you only want four defensive, but normally you have, like, a lot more defensive on all of the builds. On most of my builds I have at least seven, but um, going four or less is pretty hard, actually, if you also want to stack that high health. If you want health or a defensive attribute on the chest, on the holster, on the backpack, and on the gloves. Not on the knee pads or on the mask. And uh, that is also the reason why I can't run True Patriot. Because True Patriot always has um, an offensive and a defensive attribute on the mask. So if I would use that, I would have 5 uh, defensive and the build wouldn't work anymore. That's the only reason I'm running um, a mask with utility and offensive. But yeah, the Y1 is just the best one I got so far. Uh, you could get a little bit more crit chance here, but 6% is fine, I think. To the chest now. And as I said earlier, that's um, a pretty essential piece to the build. It's your main damage source with Berserk. As attributes, you want uh, two offensive here and then health. So as you can see, my health roll, 53,000 nearly. That's pretty insane. You probably won't have that much. But um, the higher health you can get here, the better. The crit chance is only 4% as you can see, but um, it's enough to get crit cap because I have crit chance on other pieces. And um, then you want weapon damage as well, if you can get it. But I think the health is definitely the most important here. If you wouldn't have the weapon damage and crit chance, it would be a def it would definitely be a loss. But the health is definitely the most important part here. Then yes, Talents, Berserk, 10% weapon damage for every 20% of your armor depleted. So that stacks up to a max of 50% weapon damage with no armor. And uh, that's a lot of damage. I have 242,000 health. And with the new PvP modifier and the reduced time to kill, that is quite a lot. And um, you will not die instantly like before when you're on the health pool. So you can get a lot of value with um, Berserk, Strain and Clutch now, if you have enough health. And as a second talent, you want Vital. Definitely, definitely a must-have for that build. So yeah, get Vital. As mods, I have a utility system mod with 5% uh, SMG damage. There is different Fenris chests, um, so the utility system mod is only on the Harnesk armor. There's also that, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, that one has a defensive one, for example. And there's also um, that chest, I don't know how to pronounce that either. That one has an offensive system mod. So you want either the Harnesk chest for the utility mod, or you want uh, that one for the offensive mod. I think the offensive mod would be better, because obviously the offensive system mods can give you more damage than um, a normal generic mod. To my holster now. Um, and that's also super important. It gives me a big chunk of my health that I have. So it's a Providence holster. And the reason I run Providence is uh, because of the two-piece. It's another 8% health. Um, and yeah, as I said earlier, stacking health is so essential with that build. You want a lot of health. Otherwise, you just it just doesn't work as good. Because Clutch gives you so much, so much health back for a crit. And um, that's what the whole build is. It's just a self-healing build. As attributes, I have crit chance and health here. Um, 7.5 crit chance is pretty high. And that's a stat you normally didn't have on a holster. Because um, before on an SMG build, you just had a high health roll here. And no crit chance at all. And uh, that is one of the reasons why I don't need a crit chance on the chest, basically. So something like 7 to 14% even um, on the holster as crit chance roll. And then as high health as you can get. My health roll is godly. I've never seen a holster with more health. 45k, I don't think anybody uh, I know has that. So if you can get something like 40k, something like that, or even 30k, it will be fine. But yeah, the higher the better, right? My backpack is the second providence piece. And on the backpack, you just want high crit chance roll and high health roll if you can get. Ideally, you would like crit chance and weapon damage and then a high health roll. Um, again, the higher the health roll, the better, because that's what you're looking for. But on that chest, I had to get more crit chance, otherwise I wouldn't be crit capped. So right here, I have 12.5 crit chance, and that's pretty good for a backpack. 
On the back pack, you just want vital. The other talent doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if it's active or passive. Probably just get hardened if you can, so vital and hardened. But I'm not sure if a Providence backpack can have two passive. So I don't know. Just vital is enough. As mod, I have a utility protocol mod with a 1.5 SMG critical hit chance. That 1.5 crit chance, if you also have those mods, that is not counted into your stats. So that doesn't show up in your stat sheet. And now the gloves, the most important piece of the build, because it has clutch. Um, to the attributes first, you want health and SMG damage. Um, that is the highest possible health roll I could get on those um, gloves. I know there are gloves with 20k health, but I think like nearly 15k is enough, since I have such a high roll on the holster and the chest. The talent is a clutch. Critical hits restore 20% health and repair 1% armor. So the armor repair, that you can barely feel that, 1% armor per crit, that's nothing. You can't restore your armor with that. But 20% health per crit, that's, that's a lot of value, I gotta say. So with uh, my health pool, 242k health, that is nearly 50k health back per crit. Um, I could get a little bit more health, as I said, if I had more on my backpack. My backpack only has uh, 16k. You could get up to 30k or something here. So my health could definitely be a lot higher. Even with that health, and that is already a pretty good build, so yeah, it could get a little bit better, but it's pretty good already. With that, I get basically 50k health back per crit, and um, I don't know what a player is doing normally. I don't think he's doing 50k per hit. So with 60% crit chance and 1200 RPM, I basically cannot lose if the RNG is on my side and I at least crit every second bullet. And lastly, my knee pads, uh, they are Zokolov. Just for some extra SMG damage, since I can't have two piece through Patriot on that build right now. My attributes here are crit chance and cooldown reduction. You just don't want um, any uh, defensive attribute here. As I said, you want four or less for clutch. Talent here doesn't matter. I didn't even bother to get a good, <laughs> good circle of knee pad because it just doesn't matter what we have here. Probably cloaked, but since the defender drone got nerfed a bit, sure people still play it, but I don't know. I I don't see a, the biggest problem in that. So cloaked if you can get it, but yeah, you, you, it's not essential. It's not essential to the build. Now to how I could improve the build or how the Godro build would look. So you could actually go two-piece to Patriot with a two-piece Providence. The way you do that is just get a holster to Patriot, for example that one, with 12 crit chance and 32k health. And then also the knee pads to Patriot. And um, as you can see, still 744, so all fine. But uh, for that, I would need a Providence Mask, but then I need a Providence Mask without a blue, so without a defensive stat, and I just didn't get that yet. So ideally, you want a Providence Mask with crit chance and cooldown reduction, then a Providence Backpack, Murakami Gloves, and two-piece to Patriot down here, and still the Fenris Chest, obviously. Uh, that way, you could get more damage with damage to armor, and still have the insane health pool. But uh, sadly, I don't have that yet. If I get it, I would definitely play it that way. But right now, I'm good with that build. As skills, I'm using the Booster Hive for some extra movement speed. You could also use the Defender Drone if you want to be cheesy. And then as main skill, the Chem Launcher, because I don't know what else to use, to be honest. Probably Shield, but I don't like Shields or Drones. So yeah, that's that. In the end, I also wanted to show my stats. So with the Vector... I have 60% crit chance, that's capped, um, 37 critted damage, plus basically 50 critted damage from strained, so nearly 90 critted damage, which is not too bad, but not too good either. In the last patch you could get uh, over 200 easily, just from strained, so <laughs> that's, um, that's a little bit less than before, you know. Then I have 10.5 uh, weapon damage and 36 SMG damage bonus, without demolitionist that would be 21% though. But yeah, since it's an SMG build, you should just play Demolitionist anyways. And that's it, my updated SMG build. Uh, I don't think SMG builds are as strong as before. I don't even think they are the best PvP builds. But they are still viable. And to be honest, to me, that is definitely so much more fun to play than before. I will add some clips uh, that I got yesterday on stream. Sadly, I didn't record, so the quality will be not as good as you are used to. But what can I do? I just I just forgot to record that, so that's unlucky. Enjoy watching those clips, and as always, thanks for watching, and see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, boss, dead? There's a random behind you, watch out. I lost something now, watch out, watch out, watch out. That's not delayed, that's how uh, when you die, you lose.
because oh -oh. there's three randoms. Don't fuck with ILB. You I'll join you. I'll Germans. join you. Is it RLB? Yeah. ILB. Yikes. <laughs> it's Germans. <laughs> I'll nade him. I'll nade him. You nade him as well. Easy. Yeah. They should be dead. Easy level up again. Okay, we need to retry that though. It's like a full four man team, by the way. I don't know. Don't mess with RLB. He's gonna get revived, he's gonna get revived. I yeah, know, I know, I know. Is he? Where is he? Yeah, shoot, shoot, shoot. No. It doesn't work anymore. Who's Seeker man is that? So much loot, dude. Let's fucking extract. Oh, behind me, behind me. Yeah. They need to damage me, otherwise, yeah, I don't do damage. Good. They need to damage me, come on. It's, it's, it's actually another four. It wants that. Oh, they just give so much XP. One more death. The RLB guys behind. What the Don't fuck? Mess with RLB. Big XP. Just spawn behind them and kill them. Yeah, no, it was a bug. They're super squishy. They need to shoot me, dude. They need to shoot me, otherwise I can't do damage. That guy is just reloading. Okay, this is actually farming. No, I die. Can you kill the guy? He's probably going for finish. Yeah. Hands. I didn't lose XP though, after he killed me, no? That's weird. Yeah, maybe it just registers fucking 20 years later. No, don't think so. <laughs> They're just killing you over in the back. I got both kills, 10k XP right there. What? Now. What? Oh, what did kill? What, what just killed me? Doesn't matter. I nice, got you. good job. Good job. Dude, that's my PVE build. I'm destroying. <laughs> so many caches sneaking. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, I got the seeker mines one shotting. Or oh, what? Oh, they just nades spamming. Invisible nades, probably. I, didn't I don't see the, the nades. I don't see yeah, any nades on the floor. That was like triple nade. I didn't lose XP though. So okay. just keep going. I don't know. I think it just registers super late with yeah, the was grenade loot. launcher. With the mean oh, grenade wait, launcher. Just... Oh, fuck, he know, dude. Behind Some glitch. I need demolitionist, dude. Oh, yeah, seeker mines. That's eight. I'm getting rest by my thing if he doesn't finish. Fucking yeah, clutch. Easy. easy. Nice CT. This guy wasted his whole making my invulnerability. <laughs> oh. I need more health. If I have like 300k health with that build. Oh, <laughs> sleepy, you saw that? He just shot the whole mech into me. Yeah, no, I didn't, but. Wait, how many caches was that? Seven. Damn. They're back like out. Six, I, I needed the guy. Perfect. Got the guy in the back. I'll get this guy. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Nade! Like. Yeah, we had. I see mine, by the way. Push right side. He's nading you. The what? The Seeker mine, dude. The Seeker mine's insane, Sega. Nice. I think that's what Could kills be. us sometimes. The fucking Seeker mine. Well, yeah, yeah, the Seeker mine is killing us. The Seeker mine. One shot Seeker mines are back. Why is one shot Seeker thing? I'm sorry? I'm a C Okay. Oh, behind CP, behind. Mine is. Thanks for the follow. There's no aim. Yeah, the Seeker mine actually one shot. Damn, not bad. Nice fucking Ape build. Again. I hear you too. I look at the gun. Yeah. Power. <sighs> Guy spamming us. Yeah, see. You gotta watch out. See coming from still. This build is so bad compared to mine, though. Insane. One shot seeker mines the dark zone, huh? One shot seeker mines yeah. are back. Like what? Uh, I'm dropping caches on the floor, dude. 
I need help. Yeah, if I kill one more Losing guy, then I will do the same. Guy. That build is. SMG is actually more fun than before, dude. <laughs> it's actually so bad, though. It's so retreat nice. a bit, I need to open caches, just retreat. Yeah, same, same, same. I kinda wanna extract as well, I have 9 or like 10 items. I don't. I'll stay back here and open some caches. 